You know it's always fun to check out all the cool animals at the Greensboro Science Center, but did you know you can get a real up close and personal experience with them? Yeah, it's called Zoo Trek, and you will not believe how much you will experience. It is definitely what to see at the GSC. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. All right, Megan, so Zootrek, if I were to be doing this, what do I actually get to feed them? What happens here? Yeah, so uh, the ring-tailed lemurs are one of the animals that you get to visit on our Zootreks, and they do get uh, fed by our visitors. This is what Chad Silber looks like when he eats lunch. There it is. <laughs> so they are super excited about their treats. They usually get some fruit. Um, so it's a really good time for them. And where are they native to? Or where do we find them in the world? So all lemurs are native to the island of Madagascar, which is in Africa. And uh, that's the only place where you can find these guys in the wild. And this is probably like the only time that you have this experience of actually coming in here and doing this. You won't get this any other time. Right, yeah, this uh, solely for zoo treks. And people yeah. normally, their reactions are what? when They, they get to love the lemurs. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm about to find out what a trumpeter hornbill is, and Darcy's going to help me with that. All right, so this is part of the zoo trek, and people get to do what with this? So we uh, have a lot of fun with the zoo trek. We bring out um, people to meet our animals and give them little snacks. We also give them enrichment. Um, so we give animals enrichment to stimulate their mind and body and encourage natural behaviors. And so that can be anything from something for looking for food or smells, new people and faces. That's really enriching to animals. And what do they eat, or what are we feeding? So them? these guys are omnivores, so they eat um, a bunch of different insects and fruits, but their favorite is blueberries, and so that's what nice. we'll be giving them. Here you go. There you go. Wow. So it's funny, I never thought that we, the people, would be enrichment for the animals, but that's the way it works, right? Yep, so, yep. so they are getting um, new sights, new smells, new uh, sounds and interactions, and that's all something that encourages those natural behaviors. Keeps the brain yep, going. Exactly. But Audrey, tell me, so this is part of the whole experience, what do people get to do here? Yeah, with so people get to come in and we get to feed the tortoises, so not something that everybody gets to do. So it's a really cool experience because we'll go in, feed them some romaine lettuce, some of their favorite treats, and then we actually get to pet them too. He loves it. Now how does this help them? Tell me about that. It's kind of enrichment for them, so it's um, sensory experience. You're a good boy. Petting, getting to see different colors, because they do like red for sure. <gasps> really? Yes. I picked the right shirt today. <laughs> yes. So. Now feeding them, you just tell me how we're going to do yeah, it. Yeah, so these guys have really strong jaws. Oh, you're right. I can feel the strength. So we don't want them to bite your finger. Yes. Um, so one thing for the tweezers, so it kind of extends your hand. So you're going to let them bite the lettuce and then let them take it. And if it falls on the ground, we've got plenty more. It's OK. So wow. it's amazing all the stuff you get to do. Yeah. I mean, you really get to, you get to get in there. The tortoise is the thing that amazed me is that I just thought their shell was hard like a, a bone. Uh -huh. It's not. They can feel it. So I, I scratch, wow. which feels like you're scratching like this, and he would stretch up. So it has like nerves in it. Yes, yes, oh, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, I want to show you. You can get these little things too. So every time you complete a different zoo trek, you'll get one of these buttons. We'll see if we can show it on camera five. Um, oh, right here. Sorry about that. Rip. Let's put it up there. They're tiny little buttons, but anyway, each one has a picture of like the, the bird or the lemur, or the tortoise or whatever, and you can collect them all basically. So is each like stop, is it all included in one trek or do you do separate treks? There are different ones. You oh, can do combos. And okay. You do, and so they are on the weekends and they run through November 4th. And if you look for this article on WF1News2.com, it got you linked up with all that. Um, it's a lot of fun and stuff Looks that like you will it. never get to do normally. Um, they have to take those precautions. You notice I was wearing mm -hmm. the mask with the lemurs. Um, but everything you saw me do and then some you get a chance to do. And I wouldn't charge you much if you wanted to feed me lunch like you did Absolutely. that Absolutely. You know, I, a very nominal fee. Through a fence? <laughs> yes, exactly. To feed Chad. <laughs> it's only $10. Which was your favorite? Oh, man. Um, you know, I think it's the, the tortoise because we really could get in there with them mm -hmm. and sure. interact and touch them. Like the birds were, you know, they're standoffish. Yeah. But the birds were amazing. You throw the grapes up in the air and they fly and catch them. <laughs> That's it was such really a cool, cool experience. It's Definitely fun. something you could do with the family, with some friends. Yep. My daughter would love it. Yeah. Get that close with the animals. Very cool. Yeah, it's right. probably going to be on your list here soon, right? Yeah, I hope she's not watching right now. <laughs>